Uh, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to import the vanilla maps of OOT into Blender to be used for um, editing or whatever you need to. Uh, so you're going to need uh, this version. This is how I know how to do it. Version of Blender 2.79.4. And you're going to need uh, two add-ons. I'll link them both. You can install add-on from file. Just install the zip. And then you want to make sure this one is selected. Wavefront Opt Format SO. That's the export. And the import is the Zelda 64 importer. You want to make sure that's selected as well. Once you have those selected, you want to go into your Z64, uh, Z64 ROM folder. After it's been dumped, go to ROM. Scene, vanilla. This is all the vanilla scenes that you can import. Copy that root folder. Then we'll go to File, Import, Zelda 64. That's the root. So um, this is all the scenes in vanilla MQ OOT. You can just pick one that you want to edit. Let's say Kokiri Forest. Right down here. Uh, I'll just do room zero. You can do all rooms if you want. If you just uh, left click while holding shift, I'll just do room zero for now. You want to select use vertex alpha on the bottom left and then import. And then we have Kokiri Forest. Uh, now there's a few things you might want to touch up is the tags used here. That way it can be used for um, Sharp sharp Ocarina and all that. But once you're done editing, you can then save and do your export. Sharp Ocarina Obj, settings. And that'll be ready for Sharp Ocarina to read. And then if you want to place your vanilla actors, this will give a pretty good uh, idea of the values. Um, it's called Scene Tattle. If you want to download that, open up a debug ROM, and then look for the scene that you're trying to edit. So it's for theory. So for example, Mido, for example. Mido's over here. So what you could do is you could copy this actor type and all the, all this information into Sharp Ocarina, and it'll place Mido there. And that's more or less an easy way to start with something vanilla, and then you can adjust it to your liking after that in Sharp Ocarina. Noka has tutorials on that, so you can look at Noka's tutorials. But that's it. That's how you import vanilla maps 